Hi, I'm Scott Shuttleworth from Montgomery Investment Management and welcome to this week's Video Insight. Today I thought it'd be instructive to run through the series of events we've seen in Vita Group Limited over the past six months or so. Viewers should note that the Montgomery Fund and the Montgomery Private Fund are both holders of Vita Group stock. For those new to Vita Group, the firm runs a network of over 100 Telstra retail stores and Telstra business centres, as, well as, as well as several other retail and enterprise offers. It largely derives its revenue from commissions paid by Telstra in exchange for hitting sales targets of mobile phones, broadband plans and other products and services. If we cast our minds back to the end of August, Vita Group reported a stellar FY16 result and its share price rose to over $5 in the following weeks. Note this was up from around $2.50, uh, the price at which the Montgomery Funds acquired our first stake back at the start of 2016. The shares remained at around the $5 level until the end of October when anecdotal reports began to surface that Telstra was planning to change the commission structure with respect to the Telstra store network. Some individual stores reported, reported that they expected revenue declines of 20% and that earnings would fall further since the cost base wouldn't move down in lockstep. With no insurance that these changes for Vita Group would not be material, the share price experienced free fall over the coming weeks, hitting the low of $2.24 in December of 2016. At this time, we at Montgomery reviewed our thesis on Vita Group and we spoke to the firm's management. It was apparent that the, the upside well outweighed the downside, however, potential upside is by definition not guaranteed to be realised upside. On the eve of the firm's 1 half 17 result, the shares were trading at around $3. The market appeared to be implying an average decline in an EBITDA per store of 40%. However, market fears were partially alleviated post the result. Whilst management had noted some softening in its economics, EBITDA like for like per Telstra retail store was up by 7%. The share price quickly rallied by 20% to $3.60 where it currently is trading now. Looking forward, it's important for investors to note that significant downside risk exists if Telstra were to actually change the commissions uh, paid to the Telstra store network in a negative way. That being said, upside still remains in the event that Vita Group can continue to exploit the growth opportunities on the Telstra and retail and commercial fronts. The Montgomery funds are likely to hold Vita Group for some time, however, this may change depending on how we see the prospects evolving for the industry and the assumptions required to justify the share price. That's all for this week. Please follow us on Facebook and Twitter.